When you think of Seattle, Washington, the first thing that might pop into your head is the rain. Maybe the birthplace of Starbucks. But what you might not be thinking of is the food. Fortunately, there are a bunch of incredible restaurants and other food options that are ready to change your mind. So stick around as Vucation presents the best food in Seattle, Washington. Seattle Dog How about we start off with a classic American staple, the hot dog. You might assume all hot dogs are pretty much the same, but we're happy to inform you the dogs at Seattle Dog are a step above other dogs you've had before. That's because they've gotten quite creative with how they present them. You might only think asking for a schmear is something you do when ordering a bagel. And yet Seattle Dog is famous for offering cream cheese on their hot dogs right along with mustard and relish. It started in the 1990s, perhaps to help grunge fans eat something fun as they left a Pearl Jam show. But all we know is the tradition stuck around and is a popular choice now. The folks at Seattle Dog use what looks kind of like a caulking gun to squeeze out cream cheese onto your toasted bun. And if that's not enough, you can add to it with some hot sauce and caramelized onions for some sweet and some heat. It's unlike any hot dog experience you've ever had. Marination Empire Speaking of unexpectedly good food, have you ever had a spam slider? Well, it's probably about time you did. The folks at Marination Empire have been around since the late 2000s and were a big part of the city's burgeoning food truck mania. They've taken a Korean-style taco, given it a little Hawaiian flair, and voila, a Seattle classic. The legendary canned lunch meat finally gets a chance to shine as it sits with a teriyaki glaze in between a bun that is itself coated with what they call nunya sauce. We're assuming it's because if you ask what the ingredients are, they'll tell you it's none your business. Add to it some crunchy coleslaw for texture, and you've got an unforgettable spam slider. Samburna Indian Restaurant Indian food is now baked into American food culture as much as any other Asian country, and for good reason. With healthy portions of food that's loaded with intense flavor, it's a go-to for many people at lunch and dinner time. And Samburna is bringing the fire in Seattle. And we don't necessarily mean spice, though they also know how to bring the heat in that regard, too. Their specialty is South Indian food, because the owners are from Tamil Nadu. It's an area in the far southern tip of India with its own regional specialties. Dosas, which are thin breads, kind of like a crepe, are very popular there, so naturally this restaurant specializes in them. And they live up to the hype. They have a few versions, actually, including one that's more than three feet long. You should also give the goat curry a taste, and we particularly like their Madras coffee with one of their traditional Indian desserts. It's a great restaurant for dining in, but the food travels well too if you'd like to eat at home. Archipelago Shifting gears but only slightly, Archipelago keeps us in Asia but moves us to the island food of the Philippines. Archipelago fuses Filipino flavors with American ones for a taste you won't find anywhere else. It's a small and intimate spot, perfect for a quiet night out. And don't go to Archipelago if you're racing to catch a movie. It's a tasting menu that varies from season to season, consisting of 9 to 12 courses. So you're going to want to take your time and enjoy the story of the tasting menu. And we actually mean a literal story. The tasting courses are meant to mimic the journey that the owners and chefs of the restaurant experienced as they immigrated from the Philippines to the northwest of the U.S. Expect super fresh and local ingredients mixed with a very authentic ambiance. Before we tell you more about the best food in Seattle, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Tilikum Place Cafe Situated at the bottom of the famous Space Needle is this fun cafe that, unsurprisingly, gets its fair share of tourists as they descend from the top. But there's more to Tilikum Place Cafe than just location. They specialize in Dutch babies. No, not children from Amsterdam. A Dutch baby is a souffle-esque pancake that tickles the taste bud and fills the belly. And while they aren't unique to Seattle, the city does claim to have been their birthplace. As the story goes, at the now-closed Manka Cafe, a chef tried to make a German pancake, and there was confusion over the German word for German, which is Deutsch. Mix in a couple fun cooking choices and a misspelling of Deutsch, and you have Dutch baby. And at Tillicum Place Cafe, you can get some of the best in the city. They cook them in a pan that is then served directly to you. You can choose one of two styles. One is more sweet, with powdered sugar and roasted apples on top. The other is more savory and has ham and cheese mixed in. It's a Seattle favorite you won't soon forget. Beecher's Handmade Cheese Beecher's is a Seattle favorite for both locals and tourists alike. They have locations all over the city, and their cheese products are also found in places like Pike Place and Seattle-Tacoma Airport. 
They're perhaps best known for their curd snacks and other dairy delights, loaded with one of their various tasty cheeses. Perhaps most famous is their flagship cheese. And people line up, especially at the Pike Place location, to not only snack on their delicious cheese products, but also to watch the people work. That's because they're creating their cheesy masterpieces behind a glass wall in full view of curious spectators. So you're going to be happy just trying out their curds and other fun snacks. But the real connoisseurs of Beecher's handmade cheese know that to get the most out of your visit there, you need to try their incredible grilled cheese sandwich. It's a basic grilled cheese that comes with their flagship and Just Jack cheeses, and it's toasted inside a panini press. And to be honest, it's everything you could want from a grilled cheese. Zilberstein's Okay, so admittedly, this Jewish deli has a lot of consonants in its name, so it might take you a couple swings before you pronounce it correctly. But even if you don't, that's fine. Pronouncing their name is far less important than trying their food. For starters, the baked goods are incredible. There are cakes and croissants that'll dazzle you, and their challah and bagels are among the best in Seattle. Of course, this is a deli, which means the headliners are the sandwiches. The owner, Josh Grunig, refers to them as, quote, big, ridiculous sandwiches. And we have to agree. You get loads of pastrami and corned beef on rye or on a bagel. It's enough to have to slow down and take a break just to finish them, which isn't a bad idea because they have a lovely covered patio where you can enjoy your meal as you figure out how to get down the rest of your sandwich. Then there are other great Jewish deli staples like matzo ball soup, whitefish, and chopped liver. L'chaim. Frelard Tamales. This fantastic Mexican restaurant actually started out with a booth in a farmer's market. But after the line started getting too long for their tamales, they knew they had to open up a permanent location. At Frelard Tamales, they offer half-pound tamales in a variety of mouth-watering flavors. We particularly like the Salsa Verde Chicken, though the Salsa Roja version is a close second. They have excellent vegan and vegetarian tamales. The sweet potato and mole is our favorite, though if you enjoy jackfruit, the salsa roja and jackfruit tamales are great too. They all come with carrots and pickled onions. Plus, they make a killer homemade agua de horchata to go along with your tamales. And you can take home frozen versions of your favorite tamales and enjoy them in your own kitchen. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Seattle? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.